Okay, in this video we're going to talk about osmosis and we, we did several different things in class to illustrate this. One of them was the egg lab. So I want you to think about the egg lab and think about what we did first to the egg. First we put the egg in vinegar. The vinegar main purpose of the vinegar was to get the, the shell of the egg to dissolve. Um, the vinegar breaks down uh, the calcium carbonate that surrounds the shell that makes up part of the shell and um, and it would be all you're going to have underneath there is the cell membrane so if you think about what happened after we have the egg here's our here's our beaker here's our container that we had it in and we have the egg in there here's our egg actually I should probably redo that it was probably more of a yellowish color if you remember sort of turns a yellowish color right okay so there's our egg now what I want you to think about is what happened when we put it in syrup overnight so you remember this was the syrup overnight okay should probably pick a thicker brush to do that or something let's see if that works Okay, so you get the idea. There's the syrup. Now, what's inside of the egg? I want you to think about what's inside the egg. Inside of the egg, there's a lot of water molecules. Okay, much more water molecules are in here than are in the surrounding syrup. So what's going to happen then is because of osmosis what osmosis is osmosis is put it over here the diffusion of water the diffusion of water molecules and what is diffusion diffusion is when molecules move from a higher concentration to a lower concentration so this is talking specifically about water molecules moving from a higher concentration higher concentration inside the egg to lower concentration uh, in the syrup. The syrup has much less water in it than is inside the egg. Okay, so what's going to happen afterwards when you look at this? Okay, so after this sits there for a day, if you remember the next day, you look at it again, you have your beaker again, and you still have your syrup. Hasn't changed. Is there syrup? And what did the egg look like now? Well, the egg lost a lot of mass. The egg was kind of deflated and didn't look very appetizing anymore, did it? It wasn't quite as fun to look at and hold because it was all flaccid is the name of that when it's kind of droopy. It's all droopy. I'm going to try this again in an airbrush. Okay, so what happened why did it do that well what happened was all of the water let me switch to this okay all the water well not all of the water but a lot of the water went from where we had a high concentration of water inside the egg to where there was a low concentration outside the egg so all of the water escaped or I keep saying all the water not all the water but a lot of the water escaped to the surrounding fluid and if you remember what happened was the next day we had sort of this layer of watery syrup and water mixture with uh, with mostly water sitting on top you had this watery layer on top and that came from the egg that watery layer that was on top so again what to just to review this osmosis is the diffusion of water molecules from higher concentrations of water molecules to lower so I want you to think about that when you're trying to figure out what osmosis is and think about the egg and how it shrunk on that day we put it in the syrup overnight. Okay.